Welcome to Relay. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the podcast. Must unmute my friends. There we go. Hello. Welcome. Can, 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 I, can I do something real quickly, Jake? Yes. Okay. Welcome oh. to the very first oh. part of oh. Podsat Star Citizen. Podsat. The Podsat. The Podsat. The, pod the first part of the Podsat is, of course, the Relay Station. Your home for all things information in the verse. There we go. Sorry. Okay. All right. Are, is is this going to be a running theme throughout the day? Yes. Is that, is that what's happening? Okay. I'm, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do that for uh, for for uh, Captain Table too. Okay. And then, I don't know. We'll see okay. about. It. I feel like we're on a pub's crawl to the world's end. Yes. <laughs> That's kind of. Um. So, uh, David's not here today. Um. Uh. So he prepared something for me in his absence. Oh God! Where, there you go. where is it? Oh, there it is. The, okay. The rhyming. The okay, rhyming. Here we go. Are you ready? Here it comes. Remember, remember the twentieth of May, when we here at Relay can finally say we've got merch now, y'all. So open your pockets and shell out for teachers and other kvatches. Hoodies, tank tops, notebooks galore, onesies for shiver, wall out for your instant perusal up on our site. So give us your money. Or don't. We don't mind. Y'all, we got merch now. Let merch. Me, let me find it. Where did I put the link? I lost it. It's gone. Be a, be a consumer whore and buy oh, really I got it. stuff. I do got it. it. I got it. Here Look it now. is. Merch, 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 merch. I think that link works. Let's find out. Yep, did did anyone else was kind, kind <laughs> of half hoping? Is the bot going to get him? <laughs> nope. Nope. Get him, bot. Get the him. bot plays by my rules. Um, for those of you listening to the recorded podcast, um, very shortly uh, up on our website on relay.sc, there is, will be a fancy merch button at the top. So you, uh, you can click that as well. Um, yeah. That button is now live. That Oh, look at that. Look at, look at that. It's beautiful. So... Um, so check it out. We have uh, we have merch. You can put our our simple the, the this one this logo here mm -hmm. here in this corner. You can put that on your chest, on your phone, on your coffee, whatever you want. Uh, we also have a billion colors of T-shirts, as well as the full relay logo as well. So go check that out. It's uh it's pretty sweet. We ship internationally. Um, it's, it's one flat rate for everybody. So I, I thought that was prudence in choosing a merch provider. Um, yeah, it's cool. Shirts incoming y'all. I'm not even wearing mine, but whatever. It's fine. I'm bad at promoting things. Um, <laughs> I only have the, your job, eh? <laughs> uh, if, if colors, if colors are limited in certain things, uh, that is not, that is not my choosing. That is the choosing of the company. So if if, if things are limited in color, like um, you can't get a gray hoodie, you can uh, the closest thing you can get is black. Um, thing things like that. Like they only make certain colors of certain materials. But so what you're saying is the company officially color discriminates. Yes, they officially do. Right. <laughs> Um, but yeah, if you want to support, uh, Relay, you can use that link to go on over there. Um, and if you miss the link up there, uh, well, it, you can go to Relay and, and see it. I'll, I'll post it. We'll, we'll have, I'll, I'll put a command for the bot, uh, at some point where you can get that link, whatever you want. Um. What is the website URL for re Relay.sc? Oh, no. Shiver. Isn't it Relay.sc? Is this ah. Scott? Is this a Scott Pilgrim reference? Is that what's happening right now? No, it was a Simpsons reference. Oh. Hello, but operator. I... Get me the number for nine one one. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> in, in Scott Pilgrim, he says, "Hey, uh, Wallace, what's the website for Amazon.ca?" <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. So go check that out. Um. Also. Uh, if you are a Patreon supporter, um, maybe hold off just yet. Uh, uh, T Public is working on a discount code for me, 
So we're going to run a monthly five-day sale for all of our Patreon Patreons. So everybody... A concept sale, if you will. Oh, no. A, a discounted no. concept. Con no, it's, it's, it's a, a war bond. It's a war we'll bond edition. No LTI. That, uh, that, that's, that's unique to, to, to Patreons. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, well, yes. Perfecti, I'm not gonna. You, you're buying this so you have our logo on your chest. If it's a white logo on a white shirt, you can't see the logo. <laughs> oh. I did that on purpose. <laughs> um, but uh, anyway, Patreon uh, subscribers, anybody who is uh, backing us for five dollars or more will receive code to get access to that sale. It'll run for five days every month. So if you uh, if you do that, it gets thirty percent off uh, everything. So, so yeah. If uh, if you are a Patreon supporter, maybe wait just a bit until I get you your code. I'll I'll be uh, posting that in a message to you guys soon. Um, I'm just waiting on T Public to send it to me. So once they do that, you you will also have it. But uh, we've got like shirts. Tea party. Um, we've got shirts, tank tops. Hoodies, sweatshirts, uh, kids t-shirts, kids hoodies, onesies, keep, mugs. Are, Don't expose your kids mind, to keep, this. Keep in mind, these are onesies for babies. Not yes, onesies for unfortunately, I I asked them. They said they do not all offer adult onesies at this time. I'm sorry. Damn it. I'm sorry. It's just the way it is. Uh, we have mugs. We have travel mugs, uh, so like the the Star Citizen ones, like the the tall ones with the little screw on top. Um, we have notebooks, uh, two different kinds of notebooks: the spiral ones and then the the like the bound ones. So the bound ones are really cool. Um, we have phone cases, uh, which um, I think it's for all Samsung and iPhones at the moment. Um, it's pretty much like a one size fits all, basically. Um, but if you, yeah, if you, uh, you'll, you'll see. And then, uh, we have, uh, laptop sleeve bags as well, which is pretty cool. Um, so if you have like a thin laptop and you want a protective case for it, you can get that. Um, there's also stickers of both logos as well. So yeah, everybody's been asking for, uh, for merch for a long time and, uh, finally found a good solution for it. So here you are. Thanks, GHG. You recommended them to me. I have, well, to, I have, to, use them. Hold on. I have to use them as well because I, I too, am looking to get some more merch stuff. Yeah, and it, like I, I want, I want. Look, well, I, I need to get more like a place that'll actually. Oh sell my these. god, that'd be amazing. Um, but I also want to do pint glasses and ties and shirts and stuff like that. So, but uh, but yeah, the, that like they handle all this stuff on the back end. You don't even have to worry about it. So, it's cool. Thanks, GHG. Um, so check that out if if you please. If you don't, that's okay too. Like I said. Um, but yeah, today if you, if you didn't already notice, uh, ten minutes into the podcast, uh, we have guest today of Mr. Oh. Paul the Astropub Shelley. Oh, right. Uh, yeah. Rhea, hi. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I at this I'm point, guest here. I'm totally at, guest at this here. point, I'm you're like you're like a half husband. you're like a half host. Yeah, <laughs> you're you're on this show enough where where you're like, you get, you're you're here half the time. You're about here as often as I am, to be totally honest. <laughs> um, and then of course with us today we have Nakara, and Shiver. This Hello. is this is the Relay Podcast Station Podcast Relay. Uh, I am Jake, and I am the most annoying man on the internet. Let's get into it. Most right. annoying man in the world. Yes. All right. I get that reference, fast cut. What reference is this? Oh yes. That's not his That's name. Not his name. Golden, Golden Shower, 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 Shower. 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 Listen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's a podcast listen, listen, that will about his golden handshake. It will listen, forever listen, live I, in infamy. I, I... In infamy. Now, li listen, listen. I did. I did. Jake did ask me to come on, and I said I promised I will drop a big old stinking turd on the on the <laughs> cat in the middle. So. You know, we're about to be called. I'm about to be called Paul Golden Sh Shower Scat Cat Shelley's. <laughs> wow. wow. All right. 
You go really thought that through. Let's You've got a name and everything <laughs> ready. <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? Um, there's a lot of stuff that happened this week. Um, tons, tons of stuff this week. Yeah. Um, so this is. Uh, I could spend the entire rest of the show talking about the one minute reclaimer video. Yes. Um, <laughs> see, do you know what's crazy? Is uh, on on Thursday I went and saw Alien Covenant, and immediately when I got back, I watched around the verse. I'm like, what is this? It's following me home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> see, like I I I haven't seen the entirety of the original Alien. I've seen bits and pieces of it. I've seen all all but that scene. So I didn't re really? really recognize the scene. Yeah. The, the so, part like, where they land. Well, it's, it's, one of the, it's the thing where it's like where like I, I've seen like the beginning and I've seen parts in the middle and I've seen the end, but I yeah. haven't seen the part where they actually get into the ship. So, um, well then, and and, it, and I've seen parts of Aliens and I haven't seen anything else other than um, other than that. So I, watch, I, I, when I saw that, I was like, that's oh, like kind of like Prometheus, isn't it? Because that's also similar to Prometheus when, when they go into the engineer yes. ship. And that Prometheus, that was so. the whole point of that scene in Prometheus yeah. was to be like, hey. Hey, remember Aliens? This is Aliens! Because cause, cause it wasn't initially an Aliens movie. Like, right. No one, and it was promoted as an Aliens movie. So, so it was like... Alright, here's the thing. I have a love-hate relationship with Prometheus. That movie mm. has more plot holes than Swiss cheese, but it's... I don't know. Wait, I, Swiss cheese has plot holes? Yes. The, <laughs> the holes in Swiss cheese are, in fact, plot holes. Yeah. What? Alright, listen. <laughs> The, like, and a lot of them, I can just be like, all right, that's fine. Charlie's Theron's got to die. That's fine. Everything's fine. But listen, Elizabeth Shaw's demon xenomorph baby just vanishes. And nobody does anything or talks about it at all. <laughs> She's like, yeah. I'm just going to birth the xenomorph. Everything's fine. Just, it's okay. But that being said, uh, go see Alien Covenant. It's actually really good. Um... Is much better than Prometheus. I'd put it on par with the original Alien, actually. Isn't it nice. technically a prequel to the original Alien? Yes, it's a sequel yeah. to Prometheus, but a prequel to Alien. It's it's ten years after Prometheus, if I remember right. Um, but it, it's good. It's good. It, it's got Danny McBride in it. That's weird. Yeah, there's there's a couple of people I saw the right actors in there that I'm like. Freaking! What's his name? Really? What's his name? Uh, uh, what is his name? He's he's in Spider Man. He's he's Green Goblin, but his son. Oh, um, uh, he's he's in that one movie where everybody gets high. Um, oh, uh, yeah, I know who you're talking he about. He was in. Um, he was in the. Uh, oh yeah, James he's Franco. The, James the, Franco. Franco. He's in this movie too. Um. Which, uh, it took me out of it for like a half second, but they, they, they did a good job. I, I like this cast way better than freaking Prometheus. Um, and, uh, Michael Fassbender is excellent as he always is. So I think, I think to a large degree that movie, it was improved from Prometheus specifically because everyone panned the shit out of Prometheus. Yeah. You know, everyone's just like, this movie sucked. This I mean, terrible. I, I watched it way after the fact, so I went in with very low expectations, and I was at, it was okay. It, like it, it wasn't worst. I I didn't feel like my time was wasted watching that movie. Um, but yeah, this is a Star it's Citizen a podcast. Sorry, <laughs> well, I mean it's important to talk about this because oh, yeah, a lot of people don't know that there's that a huge amount of those things. Is one of those things that actually inspired yes. Star Citizen well, and Alien. the RSI website, like the idea behind. I mean, what's Prometheus his face having the the, the lighting the, artist who got the fog splooshed all over him? This ATV, he's got a. I, I don't remember his name, but he's Nathan Daisley. Yes, um, he's, he's an amazing artist. He's by the way. he's got uh the the U C S C S S whatever Nostromo hat. Yeah, and it's, well, and, it's, and the, the thing is, is like aliens, like as far as I've been able to tell, and as far as I've been, I've heard, is that aliens and the alien kind of universe inspired the shit out of Chris Roberts when he's doing yeah. science fiction. It's it's it's, and Prometheus itself inspired RobertSpaceIndustries.com because he liked the idea of having the website for Prometheus not being Prometheus.com but being um, uh, Wayland Yutani. Yeah. Like as a, web, as a website, yep. 
and and then and then you could kind of go find little details. He liked that idea, so which is the reason why Robert Space Industries exists like it is. That's yep. the reason why we don't have StarCitizen.com. It's mm-hmm. because he wanted to do kind of like an also we sort of thing. The the man wouldn't give up StarCitizen.com as well, but they it probably would have redirected if they had it. But yeah, um, but yeah. Also, uh, another thing watching um watching Alien Covenant, the Covenant, which is like the name of the the ship that is in Alien Covenant, is the the weird love child of a Carrick, a Reclaimer, and a Hull. They just had a glorious it, baby. It is, is beautiful. <laughs> isn't it a, 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 like a colony ship? Yes. Yeah. Yes. But it's like, like the first colony but, ship? Yeah, but instead of cargo cargo crates of the Hull, it's, it's people. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> when, so when they open the ship, the, the it's in the trailer fast do they, part. Do all these like ghosts and things splurge out and kill all the Nazis? <laughs> <laughs> it's in the trailer fast car. I'm talking about stuffs in the trailer. If you've seen the trailer, you know these things. The trailer gives away like about a, a solid third of the movie, by the way. So <laughs> there's that. Um, let's talk about Star Citizen. Let's talk about. Well, I mean, we were still talking about. Yeah. Like it's it does look like a Carrick, for real yeah. though. The front of the ship it looks like a Carrick, um, and I always kind of got that vibe from from like there's a heavy alien influence in terms of the ship design in Star Citizen as well. Oh yeah, especially no, no, all of the large the, ships. The yeah, large all ships the are all, all the big industrial system. ships are like, yep, let's make some Wheel and Yutani ships because mm-hmm. yeah, because um, we like aliens, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Like the 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 uh, Starfarer is very much a um, uh, inspired by the Nostromo. The interior is very much yep. inspired by the Nostromo, and the Carrick is a straight up is straight up the Prometheus. It is the yes. Prometheus. Mm-hmm. It is. Well, it's very smoosh. close. It's not yeah. exactly. <laughs> but um, I mean, like the 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 lines and everything else like yeah. that. It's mm-hmm. it's. And they didn't make any. And like they actually talked about it when it came out. They're like, yeah. Heavily influenced by Prometheus. <laughs> yeah. We like the visual Wasn't design of Prometheus a lot. Like Alien and Aliens, the first like highly successful, really gritty sci-fi. Yes. It, 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 for once, humans weren't you know just going, oh, we're amazing and we've aspired to be this thing. It, it was still we're, in, we're pieces of shit in space. In film, one hundred percent. Um. Like it was, it was one of the first um, major dystopian sci-fi universes that that existed. Um, mm. um, because every everything like at that point, uh, Star Wars was out. Um, Star Trek had been around for about a decade or so. So like, people were used to that in terms of sci-fi, and then Alien came around. It's like, nah, man people die and stuff <laughs> um but yeah that reclaimer short cinematic thing was freaking awesome and it, it's a little scary looking how beautiful the lighting is in this game oh my god <laughs> it's, it's procedural ridiculous. too that's yes. the ridiculous part you know that's like that's not that's not, it's them, not baked in no, it's not right, them like rigging the whole thing up. They just said, "Okay, well, we've got this planet. Let's put a f- crashed, um, like, driller or whatever." It was Vandal, I think. Yeah. Okay. A crashed um, Vandal driller in 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 a moon <laughs> that we already have, and let's just land up. We'll put a we'll drop a uh, uh, reclaimer here, and then we'll just recreate the scene from Aliens. Does anyone know, anyone wonder if that is actually a scene from Squadron Forty Two? Probably not. Probably not. That it was, it was so directly like, yo, this is aliens. this is aliens. <laughs> this is for me. Oh, this is uh, the, yeah, that's, the, a, that's a good point. And yeah. no. Not only that, but the reclaimer isn't done yet, and they said they'd finished all the ships for Squadron last year, so mm-hmm. that would yeah. make sense. But yeah. man, I got a pretty cool vibe off of that video. <laughs> so <laughs> I was like, awesome. Okay, I I, I want to do this in the game now. Let's remember let's go. remember how we said like two years ago that the reclaimer was gonna be the most glorious thing we ever set our eyes on. Guess what, y'all? <laughs> thing is amazing. Is it's beautiful. Um also I keep forgetting that it's Aegis. Yeah. 
It, here's here's <laughs> the thing very about this. Non -ages. Yeah. I guess they made it as like a tool because like they're a, they're a military company, so they're like a lot of our ships are gonna probably explode. So yeah. we need something to to um, have our cost go down. So we'll make a salvage ship. Actually, I mean, what, what really happened was ages. what really happened yeah. was they let the they let the backers vote, and the backers were like, ah, we're yes. Put I mean, ages on in here. terms of what it is now. <laughs> <laughs> it's also it's also why the Redeemer is Aegis and nobody knows why. <laughs> it's also oh, no. why the, the reason it's also why the the reason why the, the reason why the Redeemer is Aegis is because um, the guys who did the not so the not so super keep going the the, the um, next great ship mm -hmm. whatever next great starship. Were, so they close. were smart and they knew that everyone had a huge raging boner for uh, for Aegis ships. So they figured if they called it an Aegis ship, people would be like, Aegis, I love Aegis, I want an Aegis ship! And you notice that oh, pretty much everybody else went with, like, Anvil or uh, uh, Drake, you know, and, and they were the only Aegis, Aegis ship. And so that, that ended was, up being... What was the origin ship called? I like the... Anvil. What was the origin ship called from that competition? I don't remember. Do you guys remember? I don't remember the origin ship. Chat, chat what's the origin ship? What, what was that the one oh. that was being made by one guy? Was that yeah. was that the Talon? Oh, I like that shit. I think was it Talon? Is the Boomslang? The Boomslang was was Origin. Yes, I thought it that was. was Drake. No, Drake was the uh, was the Brutus. Oh yeah, it's the Boomslang. Yes, yeah, the Brutus. I, I will say this: the Brutus is essentially what we got with it with the um, the Dragonfly, or not Dragonfly, the Cutlass. No, yeah. not Cutlass. God damn, I keep saying the, this. The, the, the Buccaneer. Buccaneer. Yeah, yeah. The Buccaneer is essentially a downsized. They should have just called it the Brutus, or not a Brutus, uh, Brutus. You know, Brutus is yeah. way too much. How you doing over there, name. Paul? I'm doing all right, Paul. I'm doing all right. <laughs> English, it's hard, uh, especially after you decided that it used to be a good mm -hmm. idea to drink a six pack of beer, okay, and uh, finish off this Jack Daniels bottle last night. That was, was a good idea. Oh, totally not regretting that. Great idea. Uh, also, we got clarified the the RSI Paladin was the one made by the one dude. Yeah, Paladin was. We have the one we have smushed. Ship. It's been it's been three years, guys. We have smushed all of the ships together in our minds. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Um, one thing that I thought was really interesting this week is uh, we actually got some good clarification on how beds will work. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say like, talk about like and not and it wasn't like we kind of think it'll work this way. It's this is the way it will work. Period. Yeah. This is big because we haven't had this in the past. In the past, nope. it's been like. This is sort of the idea that may work in the future, possibly could change. This was this is what's happening. What what I understood from that is that they've actually had this conversation now and designed the gameplay. Yeah, um, which is which is good because up till now, literally, we've had almost no gameplay discussions by them. That that they sit down and just say this is in the game. Yep. You know, so. No, it was uh, it was good. It's good to understand how it's going to work. Um, and I think it it is going to put a lot more value on ships that are uh, that have enough living quarters for the number of crew. Um, so that makes the whole exploration thing mean a lot more. Yep. I I also think it's a good way of countering NPC barons, uh, as I call them, which are yep. players who just are going to hoard NPCs so that they can like solo a capital ship. Yeah. Um, you know, so that that way they absolutely have to have enough space for their NPCs. They can't just treat them like slaves and just do whatever they want. <laughs> yep. Because if they do and they log out and one of their NPCs doesn't find a bed, they're like, fuck it, we're going home. And they're just going to jack their ship and take it back to a nearest port. And they'll yep. get pissed. Which is, and everyone's like, that's stupid. That's going to keep my ship blown up. It's like, then don't fucking have 15,000 so, NPCs, you dumbass. So I was talking with my friend Josh about this. And he's like, listen, I've got a solution for this. And this is the man who wants to turn a Genesis into a slave trade ship. So he's like, listen, we're going to crew the ship. And at the end, I'm going to hold them all up at gunpoint and put them into the stasis pods. And we're going to just... Does the that work? Is it... bed. No, like the, the ones in the back of the Avenger stalker. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Those, those, those are like beds. Like they work the same, similar, uh, same way. You, you can't. But you can log out. They will not willingly go into these beds. Is what he's saying. 
So he's saying he's going to keep a, a story a, of my life. Yeah. And then he's just going to wave. <laughs> he's just going to wave credits in front of them and be like, look, hey, I'm sorry. I had to I, I'm sorry. I had to put you in the in the. Wait, in, hang on, hang on, hang on. So you basically you hire an NPC. Yeah. He goes into his turret. He does whatever. He comes out of the stasis pod and you say to him, your money's on the dresser. <laughs> oh yes i have friends Dethos. get 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 the fuck out of here you disgust me uh you, you disgusting <laughs> whore <laughs> of, of current no no i'm You're saying i'm Go saying he's gonna shower. he's gonna wave money in front of them be like look i'm sorry i'll pay you triple like and then, can, them. And then he's yeah, he's yeah. never gonna pay them. He's gonna have slaves. Yeah. Eventually uh, eventually they will break and kill him. I, I no, really they will break and he's gonna kill them. Yeah. He's gonna he's gonna see it coming, he's gonna shoot them. <laughs> <laughs> um speaking of well, I mean we got off the topic for a sec, but uh speaking of Aegis, uh the eclipse is here, it's in our lives. Uh, okay. Yeah. I like it. I love it. It's I like, gorgeous. My problem with it is the same problem that I've had with lots of concept ships is that it's it's a stealth bomber. The yeah. fuck's a stealth bomber? Like, yeah. what's the stealth mechanic? But Do we have see, stealth mechanics? No. And we don't know what house the house no, the mechanics see, work. No, see, that's the thing. Well, we don't know how they're going to work, but here's here's a cool thing that they what introduced. Don't, what don't we know about I stealth mean, at this point? Well, I know everything there is to know. Well, we, we know we know that he and uh, EM signatures are going to be important, but how will it be a stealth? Like, is it going to trap heat? Is it going to have not be show up on radar? How, now, we don't really know how radar here's, yet, so. here's the thing that they that they introduced with this concept sale is if you look at the um the stats page for oh, the God, eclipse exactly. well if, right. i mean yes but <laughs> but listen um there they said uh starting now and eventually they're going to update everything to do this um power plants cooling systems and like a bunch of other stuff will now have a stealth rating of a through d a being the best so hello elite dangerous yes i'm sorry i mean uh, yes fair citizen yes <laughs> <laughs> it, see but it's okay <laughs> i'm just saying uh, it's I've okay elite dangerous in a positive light before and the entire star citizen community wanted to eat me alive for saying that elite dangerous was good so <laughs> it, it, i so mean when see, you start doing direct ripoffs from from elite dangerous it's gonna be kind and, of and and here's the thing much like eve Elite Dangerous is a great game. It's just not for me. It's not fun. <laughs> it's not fun. It's not fun for it, me. I understand I, the appeal. I enjoy it, and um, and I've always enjoyed. It. I'm a I'm a beta backer for it, but I, I understand why people are concerned about it because they look. Anytime you say, "Oh, we're going to take this idea from Elite Dangerous," people immediately go, "Oh, so it's boring. It's going to be boring as fuck and really shallow." Okay, um, but when reality, it's like we're just taking a concept that's been in. Yeah. Literally every space sim since Elite <laughs> One, since since Frontier Elite in 1984, yeah. which is and letter style <laughs> like and uh, systems, Super so. Serious says also yet another plane. Um, looking at the entirety of Aegis lineup, you expected something else. Yeah. <laughs> it's what an do Aegis you think will do in, to no. counter stealth? Better scan anything. EMP. Also, also um, um, uh, maneuvering because, uh, yeah, that thing if it's flying straight at you, it'll be hard as hell to see. If you can, if you can get to a position where you are um, above or below it, it'll pop out like a freaking light bulb because cross section is one of the things for um, for stealth. The other thing is, uh, if, if, we're, if we're using any kind of uh, modern, just just throw some water on it, then it'll show up real quick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's the wonders uh, of, our, of our modern stealth technology. It can it will show up like a like literally a fly on radar. <laughs> it's seen, but the second a single drop shows up, it turns into a goddamn tank. <laughs> wasn't wasn't there? I'm not sure if it was an American or European plane that they, they put all this stealth stuff on it, top of the range stuff. It was Cold War era. And then the Russians could detect it because their stuff was so old. 
it this this the way that they stealth this up it, it didn't it just wasn't affected by this ancient radar that just was like there's that stealth plane again you didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably youtube yeah it sounds like oh, it oh man there's that stealth plane again you gotta yeah that. there's that weird looking plane yeah um wave boris <laughs> But listen, all right, I don't know. I, I like a, it. I thought I, it was a cool chip, and I, I need like mm, it. It's nice looking. I need to find this thing that uh, that. Hold on, I need to find it. I don't want to hold on. Why are you telling me to hold I on? Need to find, okay, well, first of all, hold on. Let me wait. No. Wait. Wait. Listen. Listen. <laughs> hey, listen. Hey, yo, listen. Hold on. Um, hold on. First of all, oh. Freaking okay. <laughs> there goes Nekahara. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, we're gonna fuck over Nekahara, and then we're gonna get to. I've the got it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not prepared. Okay, this picture. What ship is this that these eclipses are sitting on? I know what it is. What is it? It's a Bengal carrier. They have the top deck. Uh, 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 it's the top deck of the Bengal carrier. Nope, there's no guns. Um, there is yes, there are guns on the top of the Bengal carrier. Yeah, there sure are. Uh, I'm still that didn't Ben her. say that it was some weird top secret hangar and not a capital ship? It I could thought be a said there was, I thought I thought he said there was no specific ship that the, that the pictures were on. Yeah, I, don't, I think it's just a generic like they wanted to do something. What the uh, I'll at find best? What he said. At best, I'm sure it's like a. Um, it's a station. It's like a space station. Also, everybody was all, hey, the eclipse is pretty and all, but me, what, I was like, listen. What what about this pirate Idris? This this, this is pirate the, Idris. This is this is the real star of the show right here. Oh, I can't make it bigger than the mm, X split. Uh what you gotta do is you gotta you gotta do shift or controller shift and then uh, like make, like zoom in on it and then expand it. Uh shift on the edges. Wait, no. Control okay. maybe? No, no. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! I know, I know. This is going to sound weird, right? Okay, but sorry. The people at it's home alt, could alt. just move closer. Yeah, to the move screen. closer to the screen. There no, we go. <laughs> Do it the old fashioned way, screen. folks. Jake, bit Jake. of interaction. What? Yeah. <laughs> Hit a tap Alt, and you should be able to like like crop it on the edges. What? Hold down Alt and then go to the edge. You'll see a little. It'll turn into like a flat line. I'm an ex-split elite member. God damn it! Listen to me. There we go. Oh, see? I see. <laughs> All right. Well, whatever. This, <laughs> this pirate Idris, is the most important. I hello, can't see. hello. Can you make it a bit bigger, please? <laughs> <laughs> Listen. I'm taking, <laughs> taking your toys away. Um, <laughs> this, this is the most important thing that was in the the eclipse. I don't care about the Eclipse at all anymore. I need the Pirate Idris. I need to know... I, mean, who, I need this. It, it, it's just an Idris with a pirate skin. Listen. <laughs> <Don't>. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. That's not true. When it moves, it goes... Arr. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. They're going to reach the Idris in a, couple of, I, in, a, in a couple of months, and it'll if for, for War Bonds, it'll be $50 cheaper, and it'll come with the... Uh, with a, with a Idris pirate skin just for Jake. That's the um, so, so can I fire something <laughs> here. What? To date, of all of the concept sales I've tracked, the Eclipse is the best one so far in financial. In monies, it's like two million dollars in forty eight hours, right? Well, no, it's a million, but no other ship has done that. No, not a single ship. That's crazy. It's, they've done it. They've done it at like at like big events and like uh, the holiday, like the anniversary. Dare so, I say their arg was a good idea? Their arg was amazing. They did a great job. They did right. a good job. Good job, CIG. CIG. Way to catch up. To, way to catch up to relay. Yeah. Way to <laughs> no, catch right. up to relay. Approved. Actually, like their middle of the Approved. night Twitch stream. It actually seemed. Oh to really, yeah. Like it was at like three a.m. for me. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> nah, way, 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 to, way to catch up the relay there. Good job. Good job of catching up the relay with your args. <laughs> I'm, I'm never living that down. I, I'm never I living found, that down. I'm sorry. I found the uh, 
I found the old thread of everyone freaking out over the image I posted. <laughs> <laughs> It, was I mean, it, it makes sense. And arts do work very well for, for promotional speaking. Yes. Every, when they announced, they announced a ship, it's like, ah, it's just another ship. And then they started doing the args, and everyone's like, what kind of ship is it? I want to know more. Desire to know more intensifies. And, and, and as a result, <laughs> it actually became everyone yeah, paid attention to it. In fairness, though, CIG could just tease the bathroom. You just get this little rim of the toilet, and people be like, it's a 600. It's a 600. It's got a pocket carrier on it. It's going to be an I win button. And then it's like, it's going to be 20 quid. Which is fine. If it, it is good. It's just, you just need to do it right. Like, you know, like I would, I would be okay with an ARG with, uh, with say the 600, which they've announced. Um, the, the 600 and it being like just little snippets at the end of, of, of things like the evolution of speed and luxury. And then like, at like the end of their, their live streams have like a quick, like, snippet of like a, a of a of a trailer being like are you ready for the future of luxury and then just like do 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 and then move on like it's the same concept just you do it at like absolutely the little flashes and never like, explain it. never talk little, about it. little clips of like what they should well, i think what they should do for the 600 is make a, a ship commercial i think the only way that works is you make a ship commercial for the 600 because yeah. it is because it's origin right um mm -hmm. i i and you just put like like one like half a second like tiny bits of it throughout your shit for like two weeks and then you're like here it is yes uh oh. they do they did reach 150 million they did and huge 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 congratulations i'm sorry, I'm sorry. huge Everybody. huge huge um, gotta use the american huge. pronunciation of you huge huge since right? since a couple people uh Bigly. since a couple people <laughs> are asking what what the heck was there was in uh there was a relay ARG. Um, that's how we announced our website was coming, and it ended it with this. All right. Yeah. Can you hear it? Yeah. Welcome to relay. Yeah. Yes. Well, I mean, it said it said we are relay. Can you hear us instead? But we we yeah. decided to to edit it with with the different words. Lines. Yeah. It was it was basically this that thing, but it was it was scrambled to hell, and then. They gave it to myself and a bunch of other content creators, and we put it in our streams. At there was like points, forty of you our, <laughs> uh, on on our um, on our social media pages as well, and being like, Every, "What is this?" Everybody people freaked out because it was all across out. the community. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, I'm just saying. Just just CIG. If you ever need to do an arg again, just give it to us. We'll we'll hype it the fuck out of it. You know, <laughs> you, it'll yeah, literally ever in the It's happened community. once. It's gonna be like you... the boy who cries wolf. Everyone's gonna be like, ah, oh, just no, just some, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> can you imagine? Can you imagine if that that you know the, the we had the late night uh, Twitch stream from the Star Citizen? Can you imagine if that suddenly happened across every streamer's channel? Just yep. yeah, everyone would be like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> yeah, every everybody because, uh, China's at it again. Everybody yeah. thought it was everybody thought it was fast cart. They 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 thought fast cart had the original tweet, but it was me. It was, it was me. Fast cart was it was only a couple of minutes after. It was, yeah, it was like probably a minute or so. But. It was it was you and then fast cart and then myself and gray headed gamer and uh, I think no. And then, oh, and then in the morning, it was like it was like DJ and Twerk and Captain yeah. Flint, and it's ridiculous. It worked. You guys are all mm -hmm. here, so obviously it worked. There's a freaking hundred of you right now. That's crazy. That's nice. Thank you. We appreciate you. Nice. I don't know why you're here. Because I I retweeted it and put it on every oh. single Discord oh. I own. Oh, I see. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Are we talking about Star Citizen? Yes, or Star like Citizen. Yes. Hey, what's going on? Um, so I just wanted to say uh, I do have an article up on Relay.sc yes. about uh, the 150 million mark. Um, give you a little bit of background on how Can we you post got that to this for us, point. Fastcart? Um, yeah, thanks, Fastcart. That'd be awesome. <laughs> um, it's his job. But um, I hope everybody likes it. It's not too long. I tried to make it, you know, not too. You know, I, I tend to go, I tend to go way too long with my articles, so I'm trying to <laughs> not not bore people to death. Um, but 
No, it's pretty cool to see this sort of uh, milestone. And I mean, $150 million is a lot of freaking money for a crowdfunded game. <laughs> yeah. However, the point I make in my article is um, it's a lot of money, but it's not too much money because the game that they're making is unimaginably enormous. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I will I will say this. It has been I, I, I it is pretty obvious that my wife works in finance. So this is something that she's pointed out to me is that if you want to run a business, you need lines of credit, you need um, bank accounts, you need to be able to turn your assets into liquid really quickly, especially result, in the United States. Mm-hmm. So you need you Just need to have in a, a blender. Uh, <laughs> Delicious. So liquid so assets. You need the, but the only way to get those to get that 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 leafy greeny spendy money out of from digital domain into actual domain to pay people is to have like accounts or had to have uh, accounts with like pay companies, companies that actually like cut paychecks for you that take out all the, the, the taxes and all that kind of stuff. And they require you to have a uh, source of income. They need to see your cash flow. So in order for them to even have those basic stuff that gives them employees, they need to have constant cash flow to prove that they can pay those employees and that they can pay the fees for the uh, for the yep. uh, pay services. Um, so that's that's why cash flow is always important. Yeah. More money in for them is always Ben, ben kind of – last year – I think it was last year or the year before, Ben kind of let down their guard a little bit and talked about that. Where like when they were trying to get the new building for the L.A. office, they are like, it's important that we have some sort of like – like that's why they were doing concept sales regularly was they're like we're trying to make sure our income is like at a certain level every month so that we can prove to banks and people that we actually the have a leasing company income. that has um. the building like the like those people you have to you have to prove that you have income it's not like oh i have a bajillion dollars but like they're not buying the building they're leasing it so mm-hmm. it's yeah. it's a totally different situation um yeah, you can't like, and you can't have like a hundred thousand dollars of income one one month and two million the next. Yeah, it doesn't work. Like, it, it, they they don't like that. It'll mm-hmm. be that's why they were trying to keep it. I think from from what I can see from the crowdfunding spreadsheet over the last two years, I think they're trying to keep their their average funding a month out of like two million dollars, and yeah. then they have the really good months at the end of the year with CitizenCon and everything. But it seems like they're trying to get that two million dollar sort of like mark. Um, to so they can tell the bank we make two million dollars a month, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, you know. Not only that, but I think they they said because at that point when they were doing that for the LA office, they were releasing a concept a month. Um, mm-hmm. they they heard the community say, "Hey, it's kind of weird that you're like it's one, it's expensive for us who want to collect ships." Hi, that's me. And two, um. It's uh, it looks kind of money grabby a little bit, so they're like, "All right, we have to do this um, because one, the work is finished, and we um, like what we pay our artists is directly corresponds to the things they produce, and especially at that time when they had a lot of freelance artists uh, working on the concepts. Um, so the compromise was instead of once a month, it's every six weeks, which is what they've been doing for a long time now." All right, I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna step in here because there's a, there's a there's a chat. It says I don't understand how having a lot of money in the bank is not enough. That's not how finance works. Yes, having a lot of especially lot in the money, U.S. Having a lot of money in the U.S. is important. It's called capital. Yeah, and having capital is important, and well, it's not directly capital. I'm simplifying it because yeah. I I teach economics for a living, but um. Having a lot of money is important, and that gets you a lot of stuff. It means like you can get checks cleared faster, and it means you can pull out more money at, at, a, at a faster rate. But it does it doesn't count as income. It doesn't count as as cash flow as as uh, how much money you're actually making. And that's what most people determine lease rates, uh, determine um, uh, lines of credit, loans, all those things uh, get get brought into. Okay, so how much money do you make? If you make this, say you make $2 million uh, a month, that means we can give you a loan of $40 million for over the course of four years. And to, to believe that CIG doesn't have loans from banks is ridiculous. They have loans from banks. They've already said they do have yeah. loans on lines of credit. 
They have and, to. It's how and, it's how you function as a business. Any and business, like I was, anyone who owns a business would know this. And like I said <laughs> you before, you can't get it's... credit unless you take advantage of credit. Uh, exactly. If you get good credit by paying off credit, you get bad credit by not paying it. So you've um, got to increase your credit by using it's, credit. And it's yeah, both it's good to and put, it's both put your lines money of into credit. the system. It's both, li like I was saying before, it was bo it's both lines of credit as well as you need to have good credit in order to have a lease on a large yeah. building, and they have four of them. So, yeah. um, so they, they internationally, by the way, yes, internationally. <laughs> yeah. So, so um, the, it, and sorry, go ahead. Um, so, and that's that's the thing too is uh, a lot of people don't realize that basically the mentality banks have is, oh, you have a hundred million dollars or whatever. I'm just a random number. Um, you could spend that tomorrow, mm -hmm. and, and you have no money. And then you have no money. And if so, if you don't have any money coming in, what good is that to us? Because since you have to make payments on whatever, that it's no good to them. It doesn't matter how much money you have. It's yeah, about yeah. incoming money and how and the regularity of it. And it's, it's also not like it's not like CIG is a 15, 20 year old company that has a record of of paying off their bills and has a really good long term stand, standing in credit record as well. That's that kind of stuff. If you have a lot of money in the bank and you're like EA, no one's going to really question your your ability to pay off bills. But if you're CIG, which is a five year startup um, in L.A. and Austin, guess what? They're going to want some fucking cash up front before they uh, before they don't forget see some experience. There's never been a venture this large either. There's, there's no track record. CIG can't go to the bank and say, oh, well, you know, nope. this company did this, this, and this. So it's yeah. proven that we can make money this. They're, they're, they are really the first biggest to do it th this way. So the bank is obviously a bit um, hesitant Skeptical. to say, oh, yeah, here, here's, here's all our money. <laughs> so the reason why I, I, it's important to bring this up, and there's a lot of people, you know, is that there's there's a lot of misinformation about how finances work and gamers generally don't deal with finance you know not most of us are are not business owners or we're we're, we're gamers and so we don't understand how the, the the financial system works especially in the united states listen the other thing is go is try people... go try and take out a mortgage without without a, a without job, a job. Yeah. <laughs> this is why um uh people have been wondering why they're pushing subscriptions so much Subscriptions allow them to prove that they have regular income. Um, that's like on top of the crowd, the general crowdfunding. Um, like they can go to the bank and go, we have a thousand subscriptions or 10,000 or a hundred thousand subscriptions at $20 a month. Um, so we have this regular recurring income all the time. Um, it's sort of like the foundation for them. Um, so that's, that's another factor that people should keep in mind. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Um, so, anyway, back to the yeah. shiny things back from around the, the actual, verse. Actual, actual points, but I just, I just felt like that was an important. <laughs> no, thing it's, it's yeah, definitely no, important, yeah. and, and it's a good discussion to have every once in a while because a lot of, a lot of people come in from the outside. A lot of, there's a lot of new backers. I'm sure there's some of you who are watching the show right now who've never backers. seen any of our. Yeah, oh, literally, <laughs> literally every day, guys, every single day. Um, <laughs> And I'm and I'm sure there's people new to the show as well who who don't hear us talk about this all the time. So it's, it's it, I'm sorry for those of you who feel like we talk about this all the time, and but there's a reason why we do. Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, moving on. One thing I wanted to mention too. Sorry. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna belabor the point on this, but um, to anybody who to anybody who any backer who's actually legitimately concerned about. The financial status of CIG, they're pretty much fine at this point, because even if Squadron doesn't come out right away, it's it's probably mostly done. In and at some point they'll release it, and they instantly will be ha will have, I don't know, I'm guessing somewhere in the range of thirty to. I've also heard them joke about before if they really wanted to, if they were really in financial troubles, they'd be selling the fucking Bengal carrier for a million dollars. You know, you know. <laughs> More to the point, like. And this is something you can watch for. Um, Chris has always said that he's scaling the number of employees he has to how much in their income is, right? Yep. Um, if you ever see them start laying off of people, then like large numbers of people um, and closing studios, then you know that they're in trouble. Then things I, are going bad. I don't, I don't see that happening. And they have currently, I think, like 50 or 60 job openings. Yeah. So 
I think you're more probably people. Going- <laughs> they need yeah. they need they need everyone from and the it also means and and here's the thing too um if if you if you can't afford to hire an employee you probably won't be trying to hire them yeah yeah so they're trying to hire 60 people i think they've got yes. enough money remember, to do so remember when when crytech didn't pay its employees for six months and everyone freaked out and even then crytech still managed to stay, stay afloat for two years afterwards yeah we knew about it pretty fucking quickly <laughs> and and i yeah. i actually had a discussion about this on the games subreddit with a guy and they're like they're like isn't uh they're, they were talking about crytech and how it's like slowly dying like crytech announced a new game apparently and so they're like, oh, isn't Crytek like a singing ship? And um, they're like, oh, yeah, I think everybody's going over to Star Citizen. I'm like, well, yeah, they actually opened an entire studio in Frankfurt, Germany for the sole reason that people were, were – they weren't losing their jobs, but they definitely wanted more jobs and maybe didn't want to move. So CIG's mm-hmm. like, we'll come to you. We, you. we got this. And now there's like 75 people working in the Germany studio. It's kind of nuts. And like 30 of them are from the original – cry engine team like yeah at least even even brian who was part of the original team that developed the cry engine in the yep. first place so <laughs> that's um so absolutely I, I, not hurting the money we should uh we should we should talk about lighting yeah it's pretty by the way the uh <laughs> the, the, the lighting the guy the guy who got hired um, from the community yes from reddit Emerson Emerson switzer was, he was there. He was on the on the. On yeah, the he was. I, I, he was the first one yeah. in that section to appear on camera. So if you if if you watch it again and see that see the the first guy that guy was just like you who was just on Reddit fucking with the lighting and see actually was like you want a job <laughs> and he's like yes so they gave him a job. Yeah, he's. Uh, yeah, that's just awesome. And also, yep. I got I gotta say this this episode was so good. Um. I'm so impressed by the lighting that they've done. Um, the, just a beautiful job on the outposts too. It was nice to see more of the outposts now that they're, because we we saw them when they were like super stripped down and they just like plopped this structure, these four walls in the middle of a moon, and now you see them and they're like, they're gorgeous and they're full of shit essentially. <laughs> and and here's and, uh, here's the thing too, and kind of the most important thing about uh, this these updates on lighting is that um, that they're trying to really achieve true dynamic lighting in the Lumberyard engine. The reason for this is not only because it looks real good, it does, but it's also very um, cost-effective in terms of uh, hardware usage. So um, so because, because of the fact that it's dynamic, it doesn't have to load in a baked-in lighting texture. Mm-hmm. Um Instead, it renders it on the fly, which uh, in turn makes load times faster and it uses less memory. So um, this is very important for the project because they're doing like like they showed on the um, on that section. Uh, they're they're doing this from the inside of a closet to an entire star system scale. So mm. they have to make sure that it works and that computers can actually you know use it. <laughs> <laughs> the, other, the other advantage is that it's a tool, like all these tools, which is designed so that once they have their tool set set up, I mean, look at the ship, the ship pipeline. The ship That's pipeline beautiful. was the first idea how they of how to create a ship in six months. It was their goal or something like three to six months from, from concept to release. And every single studio works on, I think, three ships at the, at the same time, including some re- retouch-up uh, ships. So theoretically, if you have a ship that's being worked on you have three ships being worked on per studio you could have if all of them were starting at the same time which they wouldn't you would have almost the almost the number of ships that we had at 1.0 arena commander launch every six months Mm -hmm. just new ships or redone every six months if you want if they really wanted to they don't because it's just not how it works but theoretically that's how that's that's how it's done so like 12 fucking ships in 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 half a year Uh, the goal is to eventually get the planets and the landing zones and all of the stations, everything exactly like that. So all they have to do is just plop it. So every six months, five systems or four systems are complete, completely yep. created from scratch. So if you're yep. doing that every they, six months, that's... I also think, 
even to, like, in, in an even faster fashion, I think at some point they're going to put systems into the game that are that are actually truly like empty. Mm-hmm. And let the player yeah. like once once the building stuff is in there, they'll they'll put systems in there that are. I mean, the planets are built and everything, but there's nothing on them. There's no space stations. There's no technology of any kind, and they're just like go and do stuff with this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but yeah. one of the advantage of using PBR uh, back in the early days of implementing it and taking the time to do it is now they don't actually have to worry about any lighting errors on textures. It will, yeah. because of PBR, it will all be correct. They don't have to check it. It just works. So that's one of the advantages there of another time-saving measure for artists and QA, which is always appreciated. So did anyone else absolutely love that shot they had of the caterpillar landed on the moon? Or yeah, on, a, cool. on a moon? Yeah, yeah that was awesome. Really neat. Which is funny part, because that was the section that they talked about procedural uh the uh how um not procedural uh how uh persistence is going to work because mm-hmm. they talked about how that that's and that's probably probably the reason why they talked about the beds in that s- shot they talked about how when you land on a planet get in your ship in your, your bed and log out your when you log back in your ship is still on the planet with you yep. getting out of the bed so that seems like it's being getting close to it absolutely um next thing i wanted to bring up uh the Aurora is looking very, very nice. I never really thought they could make it look nice, but... <laughs> oh, man! Oh, <laughs> poor you... Aurora. How dare you? Aurora's <laughs> the best ship in the game. Um, but honestly, honestly, gorgeous job on yeah, the cockpit. And they show. this has been a long time coming. I, I feel like they should have done this a long time ago, but the ships that are most important to this game, especially Started. right now... Are the people who have just the standard package, and that's mm-hmm. uh, and that's probably why they're working on the Aurora first, is because mostly major- Aurora, most yeah. everybody has an Aurora. Um, the the Mustang lineup is slated to get its update this year, which is mm-hmm. excellent news. I, on what we need is an updated Aurora, Mustang, Avenger, and uh, three hundred. Yep, yep. The, the, the four that we really need. Uh, um, the Avenger got an update passed not terribly long ago. Yeah, but um, I'm, I'm talking about more like functionality. Like, yeah. like before the, the game goes is... live, it needs it needs some help. Here. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, same with the constellation and the retaliator. To be totally honest with you, mm-hmm. um, but Gladius uh, needs a good going over. But well, listen, they're currently wor- they're still working on the constellation. I don't think they're going to redo it again. I mean, yeah. Um, <laughs> but listen, uh, it's great and all that you want to work on the Mustangs, but listen, if you got to make sacrifices, forget about the Alpha. Forget about the Omega, the Delta, the Gamma. All you need to update is the Bang Stang. <laughs> the Bang Stang. It's all you need. It's the most beautiful ship in this whole game. Just update that one. The Bang Stang. The Bang Stang. It's got the bed. It's what it's for. Bang Stang. <laughs> bang Stang. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. I'm, I love the Bang Stang because I, I, I propagated the meme. I've been propagating it. And I mean, it's okay. Thank you. <laughs> no, my the story behind that is a friend of mine um, saw the Mustang beta, and he he's like, this is like a like a like a a, a shagging wagon mixed with a with a uh, a sports car, and he immediately his thought immediately went to bang stang, and then I started going on this this really detailed. It's it's the it's the ship that Matthew McConaughey flew before uh, before he was paid to fly it. Um, you know, it's it's you know the the kind of thing you hit it with a with a with a glow light and it just just, just, it just like a, a black light just glows <laughs> it's from like all the uh, semen stains everywhere. You it's know, like uh, in Guardians of the Galaxy when uh, when uh, Gabora tells uh, Star Lord that his ship is filthy and he's like, you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that's like 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 it's it's. It's it's the kind that you see a skeezy like thirty year old hanging around like clubs like like 38 year old guy like hanging around clubs like hey baby you want to go to my bangs thing you know that's <laughs> that's that's the kind of thing it is it's also an exploration ship but like i, I that's exploring that's well i'll, I'll I, ex- exploit exploit them <laughs> that them booties exploring that booty you know yeah um you wanna, anyone you want, looks you want to see in coffee the making facilities you, when i buy a ship there is actually a coffee pot on it too. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's one on the Redeemer as well. And it's like you know, oh, the heat of battle. What do you do? 
just make a coffee and I'll drink that until this all blows over. <laughs> coffee sounds proper, really good. Proper, right proper now. British. Let's have some tea in the middle of battle. This is important. We have to make time for all, tea. Did you know? All British tanks have got tea and coffee making facilities inside them. Wow. Yes. That is amazing. <laughs> oh, that is the that is anchor tank. That is the most in British, a rice field. That is the most British thing I've ever heard in the. In the <laughs> Oh, you'd be in, uh, before. I think it was just before World War One. If you wanted to be an officer in the British Army, you had to have a mustache. Oh, wow. well, I believe I guess policemen I'm not getting... in India are still I... encouraged to have a mustache to this day. I guess I'm doomed to be a private forever then. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, there's, uh, I gotta there's... touch on something here. Okay, they showed us the terrapin, which is in gray box. Yes. Yeah. Oh, all right. Listen, not a, a lot of giant turtle. not a lot of people, not a lot of people had love for the Terrapin. But listen, I like it. It's two of my favorite vehicles from the Star Wars universe smushed into one. It's the Ghost and the ATTE in one beautiful package. Oh, <laughs> it, it, it looks. Have a, it doesn't have a shuttle though, like the Ghost. No, does. but but instead of a shuttle, it has feet. Mm -hmm. It has What's feet. It? It's for landing? Yeah, it has feet. Oh. Cowabunga, dude. Cowabunga. Yeah, cowabunga. I, lo I love what it's for. It's basically like, this is an exploration ship that can't be destroyed. Can it, Do you <laughs> wish to explore the corona of a star? We have yeah. the ship for you. <laughs> or you want to go explore that system that's full of pirates to the like brim? Just yeah. go and fly wanna through. Go straight they can't do through an listen, asteroid field? Listen, you, you need... I, I, when, when you absolutely positively need to explore that that uh, that Venus-like corrosive planet that's yeah. on the other side of a pirate fleet. Yeah. Yep. Uh, <laughs> and come back. See, everybody's like, yo, I'm gonna explore my Carrick. Me, I'm gonna explore with the Polaris with a Terrapin inside it. That's, that's all you well, need. The, the one problem about the Terrapin is with the new beds mechanic, it's a two-seater ship with only one bed. Oh, no. <laughs> that's fine. Like, that's just, just make sure you're very comfortable with whoever it is you bring with you, <laughs> and it's fine. All right. Uh, there's plenty more in this week's ATV, but go watch it. Also, Happy Hour this week had uh, Dog Penis. Dog Penis. <laughs> so uh, go watch that. Uh, Freaking Josh Coons is at it again. Oh, right. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> yeah. that we covered first as it was, though. There's, there's a lot of cool, small stuff. But yeah, like we yeah. We covered all the big, the big swaths. It's it's really good. It's an excellent ATV this week, so go check it out. It was really good. You, all everyone should right. watch this one. Question time. If you guys want to ask us questions, please go to exclamation point question mark. Click on that link, fill out a question. We'll answer your question. First oh, question. Josh Herman, not Josh Coon. Go oh, yeah, question. sorry. My bad. Uh, first question by Nitro Type Hat. Why does Eris look different? I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, the, <laughs> I'm, I'm the ugly version of Eris with no beard. Um, Agent, Agent 1213 says, In the final game, do you guys think the UEE ships will be fully fleshed out in the interior? Player ships are supposed to be old, so all the UEE ships should be different in-game. Um, yeah. They should be. I don't know why they wouldn't be. They're going to be fleshed out in Squadron 42, so yeah. why not? I, I yes, absolutely. I think they would be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dethos. That's that's it. I'm gonna take Jennifer Lawrence as my <laughs> co-pilot. <laughs> Listen, go watch Passengers. Maybe that's not a good idea. <laughs> Passengers was great. I it was really enjoyed that movie. It was great until the third act. I really wish it was uh, a thriller where uh, Chris Pratt is the villain. That's yeah. that's all I wanted that movie to be. He kind of um, was though. He kind of is. Though, he yeah. is, yeah. but but at the end they turned it around a little bit and made a little yeah. a little. Uh, I still, Stockholm I still really Syndrome. enjoyed that movie. Um, Watch the movie if you haven't seen it. it you, you, it's, it's, it's beautiful. Pretty if nothing else. Yeah, it, it's mm -hmm. beautiful. Watch it. It's, it's it's very interstellar, like yeah. inspired kind of movie. It, so. it reminds me a lot of Ascension. Uh, if you ever saw that miniseries on Sci-Fi. Um, yeah, yeah. Ascension, it. very similar to Ascension. Yeah. Also, um, if any. I, I've just sort of, uh, at the urging of many uh, citizens, I've started watching The Expanse um, because it's very Star Citizen esque. Oh. And uh, I mean, they've said that they it, want it to be a prequel. 
<laughs> I, I, yeah, exactly. I actually noticed yesterday that uh, when I was watching one episode that they're that they have a hydroponics display in one of their uh, uh, it goes in a ship. That's circular. Um, it's exact, almost exactly the same as a hydroponics display in yep. the outposts. Yep. I'm, t- I'm telling you, CIG, get on it. Go talk to those guys. Absolutely. They've Make this happen. I mean, no, they no, they want it. They yeah. want it. CIG just has to make it official. <laughs> I'm just I'm just saying that the the pilot from Imagine um, from I want uh, uh, the guy who plays Alex Kamal. Um, I I, I really oh, want yeah. him to be a, to be an actual NPC, like the a, Southern like a, like dude. A mission giver. He's awesome. I, yeah, he's a really good actor. Like he yeah. he actually played Altier in uh, in uh, one of the. Uh, uh, Assassin's Creed games. Oh, the 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 good Altair, not the American one. Yeah, the good Altair. Yeah, the, the one <laughs> the one from um uh, the last Assassin's Creed two, the Revelations. He played Altair in Revelations. Uh, yes. Yeah. So that was a good game. Yeah. Um, so anyway, let's continue. Agent twelve thirteen price point and size of the six hundred I. Uh, we don't know. However, let's wildly speculate because we're CIG uh, developers. Wow. Uh, Wild ass um, guess. Uh, <laughs> I think it should be six hundred dollars, just because. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that six hundred and one dollars. In, in reality, based off the size, I'm guessing that it's probably between a freelancer and a constellation. So, or sometimes some kind of price between a freelancer and a constellation, and because they have higher prices, uh, so recently like I'm guessing two hundred dollars. Uh, how much is a constellation? Forty for the eclipse, and that's a one man. How much? Thing. How much is uh? How much is uh? Andromeda. Andromeda is two hundred and fifty dollars. I think and, it should be two hundred. Uh, also, freelancer be is one hundred and ten. So it's either between. It's gonna be between one hundred and ten and two hundred and fifty. I don't see it being more than two hundred and fifty dollars, though. No, uh, I think it, it depends on how be... well equipped it is, we, which we don't I, know. Well, it, yeah, yeah. I, I um. Yeah. Okay. Especially since, right. especially since the 300i was the answer to the Aurora, they're like, "Yo, we don't, we don't want you flying around in a little rust bucket, flying style with our beautiful ships." Yeah, but at the same time, it also isn't a ship that has much purpose other than being stylish. Well, we don't know that. Neither does the 890 though. But look at yeah. how expensive that is. It's also huge. It's the size of a Polaris. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't it's get any enormous. pole dances for that price. <laughs> you gotta find your own. They're not, they're not included. It comes with the chicks in the brochure. That's what no, told. someone hasn't paid them and they've just gone, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, boy. I think it should be the same price as a Phoenix. Uh, yeah, I would say about the same price mm. as a Phoenix because it's the re- it's it's Origin's response to the to the to the to the Phoenix. Is yeah, the, it would be my guess. So it's like yeah. you want to be a fucking luxury, or you maybe want, mate? oh, you what if they un- what if they <laughs> undercut the Phoenix? Oh, it was scandalous. Like by like ten dollars, they undercut it just barely. Oh, <laughs> you'd be like, what now, RSI? Come at me, bro. Okay, let's move on. Yes. Uh, CIG wants to get rid of zero dollar CCUs eventually, not now. Actually, now. Yes. It's happened. Um, right now. <laughs> what sort of effect do you think this will have on the gray market? Um, the gray market isn't the same as it used to be. Um, the uh, back in the day, a lot of um, a lot of uh, basically LTI had held all the value in the ships mm-hmm. because they were much rarer. Um, if like at the time they were a lot cheaper, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so because of that, um, there was a huge markup in price, uh, when it came to the limited concept ships, like you would see Vanguard selling for $350. You would see, um, Endeavors selling for a thousand dollars, like, like things like that mm-hmm. until the Archimedes came out yeah. and changed everything. Because um, it was an LTI token. It was an LTI token, so you could pretty much uh, make that ship into any other ship. Um, now, for the most part, you only see a very slight markup in uh, in super rare ships. In super like, rare ships, like, like the like the Glaive or something like that. Yeah, yeah, and and it's it's slight. It's like at most fifty bucks at most, mm-hmm. um, and that's for like like the the eight ninety jump or something would be whatever 950 or whatever it is how what's how much is the freaking 890 jump now 
It was six hundred when uh, it came out. Is it now eight hundred ninety dollars? Eight hundred. It was eight hundred dollars, I think. Not at eight ninety, but yeah, it was eight hundred. Okay. It was around eight hundred. Okay, so it would be like eight fifty or something. Mm -hmm. So it, it's it's not a huge markup. So it's basically just exists so people can buy ships that aren't normally for sale or or something. Um, uh, Zeus, Zeus, zero dollars just used are gone. I hate to break that to you. Hate to break it to you. They're gone. Them. They're gone. Um. They, it was 900. Okay. Uh, it looks like it was, okay. well, last, the Star Citizen packaging comparison chart says it was $890. Oh. No. Oh. No. Ha. <clears throat> ha. I was right. Um, yeah. So, so, be, well, yeah. And here's the thing $0 CCUs were the most important when the concepts released. And that is what's going away. Um, mm -hmm. As like for right now, you cannot directly switch a retaliator to an eclipse because it is a limited ship. The only time you can use zero dollar CCUs is when uh, is when a ship is flight ready, and at no other points until then. Mm. Um, which means that you can't use you can't get one when a concept sale is live when the ship is cheaper. Um, mm. So basically, so zero dollar CCUs as we know them no longer exist. Yeah. Um, the, will... the idea behind the reason why they were, they're abusing them was because people would buy a $0 CCU for a ship that was cheaper so that when the ship actually went uh, up in price later, they would just swap it back to the more, ex uh, yep. what, that was more expensive. And then they could be like, Hey, I'm going to sell this on the gray market for, for the like, equal of value of the ship. Yeah. And um, I make after money. the sale ends and you make money that way. Um, yeah. Also, it, the, people were obviously abusing it because, as they said in that post, there was about 1% of the people who had CCUs had, like, thousands of them. I so, used to be one of those 1% because I had, like, 15,000 – not 15, I, had, I had, like, 15 $0 CCUs that were between Super Hornet and, and Gladiator. But at one point, I was like, oh, man, I'm one of those those those, those jackasses. Damn. And then I looked through my, my, uh, my hangar and I realized I had deleted all of them. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, I did delete them. Cool. You um, know, like years ago. Now, the current solution that that people are kind of campaigning for, and and Zylo actually responded to this and said that's actually an interesting idea, was because um, th there's a lot of people who are like, hey, um, like I have a retaliator. The Eclipse is really awesome, and I like it better than the retaliator. Why can't I switch to it? And it's part of my Armada pack, so I can't easily melt it and and buy it. Um, so the solution that was proposed and kind of what is being considered right now is, uh, having the $0 CCU exist for the length of the concept sale and then expire, including anything that is in your inventory. Um, so you can, you can, uh, purchase the $0 CCU, um, for the entire length of the sale, but you also have to use it during the sale, hmm. which I think is a great idea. Because yep, it, it allows the people who want to switch immediately, like, oh my god, that is the ship I want. It's way better than what I have, and my ship is equivalent. It lets them switch, but then it, it still has the principle of, um, like, because CIG is like, yo, you need to commit to the ship that, that you're purchasing. It still has that uh, gravitas or whatever. Here's, but, here's my problem with that, though. The commit, uh, the commitment idea is CIG has flat out, and they did make a statement, or at least um, Sherman made a statement, basically saying, we're not doing any balancing. We're going to do some slight, moderate, small balancing from now until, the, until beta, but we're not doing shit for balancing until the beta happens, which is a problem when you're selling ships that break the balance every, uh, like for, for, with every concept ship. It's, it's, it's a known fact that every new ship that comes out is superior to uh, pretty much any other combat, at least in combat, superior to all the other ships when it initially releases. I remember when the Freelancer first released, it was a ridiculous combat ship when it shouldn't have been. And that's because of how they 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 tier things. And then it, then they nerfed it, and then like that's the reason why we have people who yell about the Vanguard, because the Vanguard, they were like, this is not the ship that I purchased, this is, or that I, that, I, uh, that I was supposed to have. But and a lot of people feel feel che uh, cheated about that. And the problem is, is that as because there's no balance and there's no way of switching, you know, from one ship, you got You got to commit to the ships. Like, what can't? What can I? Why do I have to commit to a ship that you're going to change? Like, 
how can I? I guess the ship that I, I guess like, I like, Cutlass is a good example of that. I guess maybe in addition to the uh, the concept stuff, maybe have like a time when the balance is essentially what it needs to be, and be like, yo, here's a weak switch. Yeah, absolutely, mm -hmm. I agree. I think that's what they should do. Be like, this is our final balance pass for the initial release of the and game. Like, and we're we all... give you a week. We'll give you a week, and you can switch to any other equally valued ship. I think that would be cool. Because then yeah. you kind of have a rough idea as to where the ship fits in comparison to the rest of them. Yeah, but you, but that that's the thing is that they really need to to like they they can't really they can't say fuck balance and then um and then break the break the balance and on top no, of that I, say I you agree with you. Commit. So you know, so that's, maybe at that point you're just pissing off a lot of people. I, yeah. However however to keep to keep this into perspective they absolutely should not be balancing at this point no for any reason because yeah. it's, it's I, an I would enormous argue, waste of time. I would argue the one thing they need to do which they haven't done is they actually need to start giving clear defined roles and having those clear defined roles in mind when they're making ships. They're doing a better job of that recently. But if you think about the Cutlass, the 300i, um, the Avenger, and a lot of the older ships, they had a clear defined role and those roles changed because they released new ships. And as a result, those ships became worthless. Like the 300i is a starter ship is in most people's minds when originally was a mid-tier ship. It was like the second ship you'd get in a in a in a uh, you'd upgrade to, and it was the fast, nimble ship, fighter ship be before the Gladius came out. So, as a result, a lot of people get burned and feel bitter. And as they release more ships, more of the older ships are going to get um, obsolete for, because it's for the same reason. So, having a clear, defined role for each ship, saying this is what this ship needs to do, this is what this ship needs to do, this is what this ship needs to do, it, ahead of time. Let's a the public know exactly what they're buying, and b it gives it gives a better balance later on. So when they actually have to go do to the nickel and dime balance, they have that already set up. But they don't seem to have that. Neither do they have the ideas of like they don't even have concept. That's why I brought it up like stealth. Like they have a kind of idea about stealth, but they haven't committed to it, and that may change. And when that changes, because the the game needs to get changed, the eclipse could get co totally fucked as a result, and that would piss people off. So that that's that's why I've always cautioned about things like concept sales because even though it's supposed to fit a role i always remember there is, the colors there is the no was... there is no reason you should be buying a ship from a concept sale other than i want to support the game and that that thing i am looking at is freaking cool yeah but if you buy it time, if you buy it for any other reason you're ki you're ki yeah, yeah if it, you like it, the it, idea of that ship that's yeah, why you that, should be I, buying yeah, a concept yeah, sale you, but if, that if, idea, but, but to reinforce what he is saying, it is true. If I go out and I spend, that is an expensive ship, that Eclipse, yeah. for what it is, right? And if I don't get a fucking stealthy, mean ship the, for that much money, I'm going to be a pissed off customer. Simple yeah. as that. Well, I also don't think that, I think that that's, that's where it falls down to, though, is because I don't think that in the end they'll have this giant stealth bomber that can't stealth bomb. Um, that I don't know. They, they had it, a giant, they had a giant, um, heavy fighter that was a that was a slow uh, fast heavy fighter that was a slow uh, weak piece of shit with the with a cutlass and so it's happened before. I'm not saying it's going to happen again. Oh, I'm saying, no, but the, but the cutlass was supposed to be a raiding ship. It was supposed to be. It was agile, also supposed but... to be an agile. Um, uh, it was. It was. Uh, it was supposed to be an agile, fast um, glass cannon, and then it became a agile, slow um, tank, which wasn't really tanky. Like yeah. the, the, it was supposed to be a, a heavy fighter, and it, it it's uh, its concept got so warped over the over the um, the course of a couple of years, which is the reason why so many people got pissed off about it. That's mm -hmm. the issue: is that in the past, CIG has fucked up their concepts. They've fucked them up big time because they don't have a really clear defined role. Of what is a heavy fighter? What's a light fighter? What's an interceptor? What's a space superiority fighter? What do they do? Why do they what do they function as? And if you're gonna sell a ship as a Space uh, superiority fighter. It, we should know what a space superiority fighter is supposed to do. Um, the old argument, things like, "Oh, a constellation should take on three hornets," that doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, that's 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 not true. And and so, as a result, well, again, but this to, is the problem: have... is you're going right now. It doesn't exist. But the right now, that's what he was trying to say: is right now the balance doesn't mean anything. They they need they're going to balance the game later in beta and probably b before release, and then they can go. We have all the ships now. We a, can make them all the way of, they're supposed to be. A lot of what what um, 
what people need to realize too is that um, the ships themselves, the like they're they're gonna tweak like the handling of the ships, but in terms mm. of what um, how strong they are in terms of their weaponry, they can always change what weapons they have as the yeah. as the stock. No, I'm I'm not saying the player can. I'm saying CIG can change what weapons come with the ship. Um, that's something they can easily do. Um, in, f in fact, since the player has that functionality to do that themselves, it's even easier for CIG to do it because it's literally just. Yeah, it's, it's not it's not complicated. <laughs> yeah, the, the the biggest issue that is for, you know, again, the, the, the main point I have is that don't buy concept sales, uh, concept ships um, right now. I wouldn't until they have clear defined roles and they don't. And uh, that's the reason why, like, well, I've been staying away I from disagree, though. The, the, this is stealth bomber. You know what it is. It's stealthy yeah, and it how, bombs. How's, how's it stealth? How stealthy is it? What's a bomber? How does how does a bomber work versus a capital ship? We don't yeah, know those then, things yet. But then you're basically saying, saying don't spend any... I hate stealth in the game. But then, you're, saying, saying, sorry, then you're basically saying don't buy any ships until the game comes out. Because uh, I, I agree. I, I'm saying don't buy any ships until the game comes out because they don't want to... Maybe don't do that? Yeah. Oh Well, fair enough. Yeah, I mean, I, I've, I've, this is I've also, been, I've been, I've been I, an advocate saying you only need a, a, a base package and that's all you ever need to purchase. But I'm seeing a lot of people get, you know, I've seen the butthurt happening. And if they're saying they don't want to balance it, if they don't want to create, if they don't want to define roles right now in terms of going forward and how these game mechanics work, because it's, it's obvious a lot of the game mechanics aren't done yet. And they're still not even out of concept that you need to not just don't do it. Just yeah. don't don't take that risk. I also. And and I agree for the most part with what you're saying, and that should say something coming from someone who bought an eclipse. Yeah. <laughs> At the same time, you know, don't buy anything more than you you want to purchase. Like, you know, I purchase, I I bought, I'm a thousand dollars plus in. I've got a thousand dollars of my personal you stuff. Sweet stuff summer with, child. With, <laughs> I, I, the rest of the stuff, I'm 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 like five k in with all the stuff that I purchased, but the four k was giveaways. Yeah. For and I, it wasn't my money; it was like money that was given to me for streaming and stuff like that. But, and that's a lot of money. A thousand dollars over the last five years is something like a uh, hundred and seventy dollars a year or something like that. For well, I, I got in twenty fourteen, so it's like three years. So, uh, it's or no, twenty thirteen, twenty thirteen. So that's yeah, four years. So about like two hundred two hundred fifty dollars a year, which is a lot of money for even a game. You this know, that's is, like maybe two or three. Of, it's World of Warcraft. Yeah. This is also so, kind of what what I've been telling people uh recently is um un unless you are like like you really super duper want all like the serial number and the skin and all of that stuff that they put for these sales um the best thing to do is if you want to support the project um and what I told people last year is um wait until Citizen Con when they show their big progress update over the course of the year. <laughs> and Sorry. look how, I mean, yes, look how well that went. But I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, like my, a lot of the big purchases that I made were right around citizen, citizen con and the anniversary stream of 2015. Um, mm -hmm. Because I saw like the great leap in progress that they made at that point. And I was like, you know what? Time to support CIG. This was awesome. And I, and I bought my Carrick, my merchantman, a bunch of stuff because everything was up for grabs at the anniversary sale that that is honestly the the absolute best time to do it and it's doing it for the reason of supporting cig in the project um the other thing what i would say what i would say you're a customer if you want to donate your money to the project donate your money to the project remember it is a concept but to a degree you know if you buy a stealth bomber and they give you a lawnmower there's an issue but Ultimately, if you don't feel like CIG have earned your money, don't don't give them your money. If you feel like you want to support a bit more, go ahead and do it. It, it, it's, it is ultimately your money. But you only need the yeah. base package, anything and, after that. And that's what... Don't, that's don't what, buy a Polaris if you don't know what it is. And <laughs> Miku yeah. Hatsune in, in chat says, I'm throwing money at the screen as soon as 3.0 comes out. And, and that's what you should do, is if 3.0 comes out and it's great, Support CIG for that. That's a great time to do that. And a, and a great th thing to do if you really want to, again, we were talking about the finances earlier, is become a subscriber. If you become a subscriber, it helps them out more than, say, purchasing a huge ship because that's a constant flow of income. And it's um, it's way less of an investment than 
than yeah. buying a shit. So is. there's a bunch of really good questions. We should try and get through. Yeah, sorry, some of them. sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, all right. I, Will we be living on an Idris in Squadron 42 by Agent 1213? Yes. Yep. Um, yes, we will. You start uh, off in Shubin, though, don't you? Yes, but oh, like no, no. Well, yeah, start... but we don't stay on Shubin the whole game. Yeah, the, the no, majority the more, the majority of your time in Squadron Forty Two will take place on the Morrow. Stan the, the no, it's the Stanton. I thought it was the Morrow. Oh, the Morrow's the dude. Stanton's the ship. Yeah. That's right. I got him. I got him backwards. Um, okay, uh, Paul, how did you get over your aversion to Skype finally by Fast Cart? Uh, because we made him come on the show. Um, Fast Cart. <laughs> I hate Skype. I, hate I Skype. also hate Skype. Uh, Fast Cart says, "When will the wall of thanks go up?" Oh wait, it's up. Thanks, Fast Cart. Uh, Agent twelve thirteen <laughs> says, uh, "What kind of exploration computers will ships like the Freelancer Dur have that other ships won't? Will other ships be able to upgrade to this equipment?" Um, we have the no idea. The second question, this the second question in there, the answer to that is yes. You can upgrade mm -hmm. at least to an extent some of your some of the systems in most ships, but there will be pros and cons to doing that. Um, but we uh, don't know in terms we, of it. Yeah, we don't of, we don't know the mechanics now. of scanning quite yet. Um, Agent twelve thirteen asks, not really a question. I'm a police officer and in roll call last night. We talked about what we do to get rid of our stress. My answer was, I watched the Astro Pub Relay Station Space Bro Show podcast. Keep up the good work. Oh, we Thank love you. we love you, Agent twelve thirteen. People like you are why we do this. You're also the reason why. Would you why like I... to buy some merch? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna make a cocaine joke, but that works too. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, I don't talk about space cocaine as much because I'm afraid pe well, police officers are listening. <laughs> <laughs> that blew me away. Oh. <laughs> uh, fast cart, you can't share clips with our question document, you scrub. Ashley asks. Uh, you are mapping out jump points in Vandal space. What is your fleet composition? Um, in an ideal world where all of the sh ships are working as intended, um, a bunch of Terrapins, a few Polaris's, a couple Idris's, and a whole lot of Vanguards and Sabres. Yeah. yeah. Polaris with a cloaking device. <laughs> the Carrick will probably be useful in there too, especially if it can be protect protected. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm not uh -huh. looking forward. I'm not looking forward to the to the protect missions in Squadron 42 though, because I've been playing a lot of Wing Commander as as late, and the the, <laughs> the babysitter missions suck. Escort missions are always the worst game the missions in 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 video games. Guess, guess what? You why can, why do they call that a cool vet? You, you can choose that as your entire career in Star Citizen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the core vets in Wing Commander though, your Hornet Light Fighter can bring them down. Hmm? The Hornet in Wing Commander is like the first ship you get. It's a piece of crap. But it can bring down a Corvette in Wing Commander, and you're like, I don't know if I with want to fly that now. With its guns. Yeah. 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 Boom, uh, boom, boom, Nitro, boom. Nitro Type Hat asks, can you read this out loud on stream? Thanks in advance. You got it, Nitro. Uh, Gman618 <laughs> asks, what, it, what do you think about Arcourt being the first actual planet we should get according to the production schedule. Have they figured out procedural planet-sized cities? That is an excellent question that I do not know yep. the answer to. My um, answer for that would be no, and you're going to be, <laughs> and you're going to be forced into a uh, into a landing. Oh, the, landing, yeah, there's absolutely going to be a, a, oh, a tunnel. Yeah, already, but, yeah. already, but in terms of freaking giant planet-sized <laughs> cities, having just the textures for that the LODs on that crap is going to be nuts. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be beautiful. I mean, they could have giant set pieces that you can't explore. Of course. Exactly. Yeah. Well, no, it, it, uh, to keep in mind, like they have actually explained exactly how Arp Corp is going to work. Um, you'll be able to fly down to like 30,000 feet or so anywhere, but then, uh, and the whole planet will be covered in city and you'll be able to fly down fairly low so you can see it, but you won't be able to land anywhere except for the like designated landing zones. Area 18, um, area 16, area... Challenge accepted. Like that, you know? Oh, you're um, going to get shot. You're going to get shot. Yeah, exactly. Just or you'll be blow giant... Up. Actually, I, think, I think they said it autopilots you at that point. It'll, yeah, it'll take over. Because it's uh, such a busy space lane. I want giant rail guns to just annihilate me out of the sky. Oh, look. I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um... 
two more or three more questions and then we're gonna do it uh fast cart <laughs> freaking self-promotion <laughs> at the end there all right fast cart thank you uh alper says have you seen alien covenant movie and the terrapin like shuttles in it what do you think Man, that sh that movie's full of Star Citizen ships, and we talked about it extensively at the beginning of this podcast. So if you want to, yeah, if and you want to watch that, uh, then do that. I also don't doubt that a lot of the concept artists who worked on Alien Covenant also worked for Star Citizen. So probably just saying, yeah, yeah. that'd be interesting to see. I, I want to actually look into that, see if, yeah. Uh, Ashley says, "How big of a president? Presidents? How big of a presence?" Huge. Huge. <laughs> Should modern day aerospace companies have in the verse slash lore? Um, I don't think CIG will use any current aerospace companies for the fact. Unless they pay them. Unless they unless, pay <laughs> money. Unless they come to an agreement yeah. to be in the game, yeah. Yes. I, I, what is everyone, including you listening, watching at home, what are your feelings on actual product placement in game if paid for? Would you give a shit if Coca-Cola you know, had a post I, on the as it goes past? Would I you would, like that? Would you hate that? I would love it if they came up with an excellent lore reason as to why the company still exists. Accelerated Because everyone mass still design. drinks it. I'm just going to say, uh, yeah. accelerated, accelerated mass, mass design. design. Yeah, this has come up before. CIG has said you were totally open to it as long as you create a reason that you are still around and yeah. and like actually have an actual lore discussion about what uh what your company does now and how it like, got from does, now to then does does it make sense that coke might exist in the in the 29th or the, the 30th century yeah it, it, it makes sure. sense because coke has been around for almost 200 years and mm. they're really really popular soft drink and even they'd have to really up. screw up to go away actually <laughs> yeah like, like the, the chronic. I mean, like, yeah, I, everyone. What, what, I like, I'd like a what? normal person who uses the internet. I've got ad block, but if I have yeah. adverts in game, I'm gonna be like, oh, this is so cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, if they like, I love advertisements. Oh, <laughs> like, I love really good product placement. Like, there's there's such a thing yeah. as bad product placement, and it, well, like, you see it all instance, the time. Fifth Element. McDonald's. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. McDonald's had a product placement in Fifth Element, and it was completely seamless, Ugh. and it made sense. It was like it's beautiful. It was like it, it was like the we're, we're cops going to uh, uh, at a lunchtime. They're going to go to McDonald's, and McDonald's makes sense, and that still exists in whatever future world they're in. It makes sense. And, and do so that. The same, the same kind of thing is, is, is it can be done, you know. But also mm -hmm. the obvious uh, connect product placement in freaking what show was it? I don't even remember. But where they had like. Like a two-minute segment on people using a connect for no reason. Yeah, it hurts it me in my soul. Well, another good example is Expanse. <laughs> yes, FedEx. FedEx, FedEx is in the Expanse. And, and there is a there is a uh, there is a um, a container that they use for like a boarding craft that is that it's is so uh, good. that is got FedEx on the side. It's, it's like, it so good. Like, <laughs> can I just point out? I, I'm drinking cherry coke now, and if, if a distributor is listening, <laughs> mm, the choice of the new generation. <laughs> oh God! All right. Well, I can also see that. Sorry, I, I was I was getting on off uh, way off off the base, but you you can see things like like yeah. Thrustmaster or Logitech and those kind of companies also coming up with and having their own products and the, right. the first had like the logitech headset for your you know for your character and it says logitech on it and everything else like that it's like yeah logitech exists now it's it's a headset company they make lots of technology do they still um, exist yeah do you think there'll be a site oh actually <laughs> do, do what's really funny there's uh there's an entire tumblr dedicated to uh SciTech x52s showing up as props in television and movies as mm -hmm. as real flight sticks yeah no um what is it? Agents of Shield did it. Yep. Um, I think a couple other places have done yeah. it. The the, the it's, 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 it's really cheap good. To buy and it looks really it looks good. it looks real. Uh, um, uh, that Batman, that crap Batman movie where he tried to beat up Superman, but they had the same mums, so they, yes. they had they were best friends in the end. He used he used Thunder War, the, 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 the Warthog. Yep. Yeah. That. It's like, did you spend too much money on products and not enough on the script? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I'm skipping Fast Cart's question because he's a silly beaver. Um, uh, but the last question, guys, and then uh, if, if you guys want to throw in some questions that we will answer next week, you can do so. But uh, this will be the last question of the day as we are already over time. 
Um, Dethos asks a computer related question. Do you feel an AMD Ryzen 1700X would work as a good streaming PC? Um, yes. Most, yeah, most, uh, <laughs> most mid to high end uh, hex or up core processors are good for streaming. Uh, you need the multi thread in, in there. Yo. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, the one of the big things that Ryzen is good at is streaming. Is is multitasking um, yeah. to mm -hmm. be more broad. Um, but uh, it's it, it's weird to say because I have um, a 7700K CPU right now, but I don't do a whole lot of streaming anymore. Um, but I would not recommend this CPU for streaming, especially if you have enough cores. It, like, hey, it's fine Jay, for this. Do you know anyone who's recently started streaming? We're not going to talk about Papa Dolvac. No. <laughs> Love you, baby. Hi, Dolvac. Hi, Dolvac. I, I refuse to promote Papa Dolvac. Twitch.tv slash Papa Dolvac because Papa Dolvac is... <laughs> Twitch.tv slash Papa Dolvac. I will never promote Twitch.tv slash Papa Dolvac. No, no. Um... You know what? This is probably the promotion that he so would if love you most of all. Twitch.tv slash Papa Dovac. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you want to get uh, be in a lot of pain, because he yeah. he'll just sit there. He'll literally yeah. sit there and he'll put a dog whistle on in the background. <laughs> you go slowly insane. That's 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 the kind of quality content you can expect from Twitch.tv yes. slash Papa Dovac. So true. All right, that's the end of the show, ladies and gentlemen. I feel uh, like it's a good note uh, to end uh, on. Um, if you great. missed it at the beginning of the show. Um, I lost the link already. It's gone. Uh, <laughs> here it is. Hey, guess what, Jake? It's on our website. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Um, <laughs> go here! Buy our merch! Uh, we have t-shirts. We have t-shirts. We have hoodies. We have sweatshirts. We have tank tops. We have phone cases. We have mugs. We have onesies. We have everything you could ever want and in multiple colors. Um, that wacky whaling inflatable arm men. Oh man, yes. that's the dream right there. <laughs> Boy, we need um, relay. We need relay branded wacky waving infl inflatable arm men. Yes. Yep. I thought, uh, inflatable tube men. Yeah. Oh. And oh. Can oh. I can I do a slight plug for later today? Yes. We need socks. Okay. We um, absolutely need. And socks. you can join myself, Jake Acapella, and Gray Headed Gamer, as well as Texas Skulls and Nighthawk Zale. Um, in about two hours for the captain's table. Yep. It's going to be literally all of the pod set Star Citizen guys in one in place. In one place. Mm -hmm. And we also have Texas Calls. You know, yes. Who's, who's He's there. okay. He's kind of drunk. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be stupidly hung over, though, that's for sure. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't actually know what phone case is. You, you, it'll, it'll show you the selection when you go to the website. more than likely all of the most modern cases yeah. as well as like slightly older yeah okay so um there are no note cases no ga galaxy note cases uh all oh. of the s series are covered from four to eight and then yeah. all the iphones from four to seven does it have the seven the big ones or just the small ones uh it has the iphone six plus and seven plus okay um that's stupid they have the the iphone plus but not the note that's dumb. Nope. <laughs> anyway, uh, there's nope. a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and once again, if you are a Patreon subscriber, maybe wait just a few days to purchase anything if you want to. Um, anybody who is a Patreon uh, backer who is $5 and up will receive a coupon code. Um, and they will get a new code once a month that works for five days out of every month uh, to get 30% off our merch store. So... Um, and that's the entire store. So that's lovely for you. So if you're looking for something to get married in, now you have an option. There you go. There we go. Um, check out our stuff. Uh, we got... Um, do we have a, do we have a uh, relatable coming up, Shiver? I'm planning something a bit different for one. Ooh. But Ooh. hopefully... I need, I need to get okay. I need to get someone for um, that. I do not know if we're gonna have a beef cast this month, but I can announce our plans for June. Um, we're having an extended glorious beef cast. Um, it is a two day event as we are going to be restreaming the Electronic Entertainment Expo, and we're gonna heckle all day and all night, and it's going to be wonderful. Um, I believe that is June eighth and 9th? 
I don't remember. Question mark. Uh, it's it's Sunday night and Monday night that we're gonna do. Ironically enough, we're uh, not actually going to be streaming the PC sun- conference. If it if it's Sunday night and Monday night, then it's uh, the 11th and 12th. Okay, that yeah. sounds right. Um, because because uh, the second I know that because I'm moving on the 12th. So oh man, that that came up fast. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I actually have. This is my last Saturday here at this at this uh, this this wow. apartment. Wow. I'm moving out of the apartment. I'm staying with my parents for two weeks while we uh, before we move because my I have I have work and yeah. my wife still has some stuff that that before the Jesus end. Jesus so. Christ. Yeah, it's it's coming quickly. And yeah. then in six <laughs> months, it's gonna be me. So there's yeah. that. I'm also moving to Texas. Not the same Everyone's city. Everyone's relocating to Austin. Yep. Well, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. He's going, I'm, he's I'm, going to, to, I'm, to, to, to the slightly uh, lesser, you know, uh, city of Dallas. So. Yes. Um, just, just, just go. If, can you please? I hear they have the good book depositories. Yeah, I was gonna say. Can you please go to the grassy Great views? <laughs> oh. Jay, take a All picture right. of yourself at the grassy knoll. Um, <laughs> Once again, if you haven't checked out uh, the $150 million article, go to Relay.sc and check that out. Um, please follow us on Twitter. We just passed 900 followers on Twitter. Woo! Um, and uh, starting probably whenever I get a hold of David, because he has the prize, um, we're going to be doing a, uh, a Twitter giveaway um, to get us that extra push to 1000 so uh, keep an eye out for that. Uh, we're giving away a hundred dollar Star Citizen gift card, among other things. So uh, so it'll help you out when that six hundred series comes out. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, it, it's available not only for people uh, newly following us, but also for people who are currently following us. So uh, so check that out. Um, Twitter.com slash relay underscore sc. Uh, if you missed this podcast in parts uh you can go to youtube.com slash relay underscore sc and watch it or you can go to the rss feed on relay.sc yeah like maybe throw us a comment tell us how much you love shiver's beautiful face i'm I'm gonna do a a, a post if we reach a million likes jake will do a naughty dance on stream i will absolutely do that (laughs) jesus christ that's a lot of likes (laughs) Um. So, <laughs> from my from my perspective, I just wanted to say, uh, everyone, go read my article right now. Yes, that yeah, one. From my fast fast card posted. It's right there. See it. It's in the chat. <laughs> it's pretty easy to find too. Relay.sc slash article slash one five zero. So, should we take one more question? Because there's one more question in the doc. Oh, let me see. L- uh, like super that is late a question. long that is a long discussion. So, sure is. <laughs> let's let's leave that one for next time. We're gonna do that for next time. <laughs> it's about Vulcan. So oh God. yeah, we'll talk about that Fun. next week. Um <laughs> also Well Leonard Nimoy got to do so- with something with it. Yes. Yes. Um also, if you're feeling extra sassy, go to patreon.com slash relay underscore sc where you can support us and keep the lights on over at relay if we had lights because we don't exist as a physical entity um (laughs) (laughs) thanks for that jake (laughs) thank you guys for watching it's like 10 minutes long (laughs) yes thank you so much for watching we love you see you next time same place click that follow button if you want to know when 2 30 saturdays it doesn't change i don't know why you guys ask every week it's the same time it's right turn there on notifications <laughs> yeah turn on your notifications if you really forget every week it, it'll help you i promise um thank you goodbye everyone see you next week see you in the black